Some strange new side effects are being reported by people taking weight loss drugs. We've already heard about hair loss and sagging areas of the body, but are the drugs changing people's personalities too? Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins looks into the potential mental health impact and if doctors have concerns here. They work with weight loss and studies are underway to see if they can help with substance abuse like alcohol. But are they causing depression and anxiety? We know in these patients that, you know, likely dopamine levels are decreased. And the question becomes now, you know, are there other applications to that? Dopamine is one of the feel-good neurotransmitters in your brain. Among other things, it affects mood and motivation. About a 1,000 reports came into the FDA from people claiming a mental health concern from Wegovy, Ozempic, and Saxenda. Only Wegovy and Saxenda are approved for weight loss, and they do carry label warnings of depression and suicidal thoughts. However, a recent Case Western Reserve University analysis of nearly 2 million medical records did not find an increase and suicidal thoughts. These drugs have been used for nearly a decade for diabetics. You know, almost seeming like a miracle treatment. But I think whenever you have a medication that's widespread and hundreds of thousands of people start using it, you're going to start to see more rare side effects that potentially may not have come out in clinical trials. Dr. Birch isn't seeing concerns in his own patients taking the drug, and losing weight in general doesn't magically fix other problems in your life, which could also have an impact on mood. We should be aware about it. We should take reports seriously, and we really need to follow the data and see you know, if, if, there's, if we can draw any real conclusions. But at this point, this is not something I would be real concerned about. So now there have been a few studies showing no causation of depression or anxiety with these medications. However, it's important to note that the studies evaluated medical records retrospectively, and even though the sample size was quite large, it didn't have the parameters of a controlled study. So the research continues, but as Dr. Birch said, it's important for patients to be aware and report any issues to their health care provider. Wow. I mean, here's the thing. These are very popular. Yes. If you talk to people, chances are you know someone who's taking one. But it is interesting to see those side effects that keep coming. Well, and the side effects, keep in mind, I mean, we know that they, they reduce levels of dopamine sure. in the brain. And that's other people are complaining about low libido. You know, they have no interest in cigarettes. They have no interest in alcohol. These are studies that have to continue, right. so we don't know. But to your point, as we were talking earlier, yeah, they've been used for over a decade with diabetics, um, but they're also used for diabetics. They lose an X amount of weight, and then they sort of so, plateau. Sure. So these are people who are using, are losing a lot of weight very, very quickly. You've also told me that the drug works while you're on it, but for people looking to lose weight and then think they can maintain their new weight without the drug, it doesn't it's, work that way. You need a lifestyle change. Wow. So they're not, yeah. Okay. Monica, thank you. We could you. talk about this for a long oh, time. Yeah, Monica, could, thank yeah. you so much. Sure. Now, despite those negative side effects, demand for weight loss drug medication is booming, and the supply is simply is not keeping up. There's now a shortage of Zepbound just five months after the FDA approved it. Thousands of patients are now facing the risk of having to start rounds of treatment all over again.